in this video we will uh, learn about the expansion if we have given 1 plus x whole power n how can we expand this one right so in this case we will use binomial expansion as we have done previously we have done about a plus b whole square a plus b whole cube so if uh, the value of a is replaced by 1 and the value of b is replaced by x the same procedure will apply and uh, there, there can be different values of a and b right in this case you can see a is 1 and b is x so how can, how can we use binomial expansion the procedure is same first of all uh, you will write 1 plus x whole power n should be equal to uh, the first term will be uh, i have told you earlier we will start from this power if there is two power here then we will start uh, right here to see zero right and remember that uh, in this below row uh, we will start from zero and it will go zero one two going on three four up till n right so um, and the, whatever the value of uh, uh, power is here in this case it is n so we will start from this power n you can see n c 0 n c 1 second term third term n c 2 fourth term is n c 3 fifth term is n c 4 going to n c n minus 1 up till n c n right so remember this thing if you will keep in mind this thing that we will start from this power n and in the n c 0 there will then in this first expression it will start from 0 1 2 3 4 up till n if you can understand this thing then it will be easy for you and the next thing you have to remember if you will remember these two things this binomial expression this binomial expansion will be very easy for you keep it in mind that the power of this first term will be this n starting from this n right and the power of the second term will be whatever you have written here in the below right so the power of 1 will be n and the power of x will be 0 because I have written here 0 I will repeat it again for you that when you have to expand by using binomial expansion first of all you will write you will note what is the uh, index of power is given here index of power is given n so i will start from n starting from zero in the below line n c zero and the power of first uh, whatever the element is here is it it is one so the its power will become one power n c zero if you um, keep in mind that n minus zero it is equal to n so the power of first term will be n minus 0 which is n and the power of second term will be whatever you have written here so the first element power is the difference of this one n minus 0 and the second term power will be whatever is written here if we apply this what i have told you for a uh, rule here in next you will see next term will be n c 1 0 will increase to 1 and the power of 1 will be difference of n minus 1 and n 1 whatever it is written here n minus 1 take the difference of this n minus 1 and the power of second term will be x is 1 and then we will proceed to the third term n c 2 because n c 0 and will remain same whatever the power is it will be remain same in the upper side but in the lower side you will say that uh, starting from 0 and it is going to increase 0 1 2 so here 
the power of first term will be difference of these two and minus 2 and the power of second term will be this what is written below this and the fourth term will you will check and see 3 the power of first term 1 is difference of n and 3 which is n minus 3 and the power of second term which is x is 3 here keep it in mind this rule we can easily write all other next terms and c4 will become 1 power n minus 4 difference of these two and x second term will be power of this one now i am going to write last two uh, terms second last term will become n c n minus 1 now you can check the power of first term is i have written the difference of these two n minus n minus 1 will give you n minus n plus 1 because you know about the mathematics rule if we have uh, uh, n minus n minus 1 so when you will solve the parenthesis this plus minus minus 1 will give you plus sign and n minus n will cancel each other and the answer will be 1 here so the answer of i have written here n minus n plus 1 by using this difference of n and n minus 1 is its power first term power and second term power will be n minus 1 similarly last term will become n c n because it's starting from 0 and going towards n right so n c n first term power will become difference of this and second term power will be this which is n so in this case we will expand this one if you can understand this first thing the five first seven five minutes of this video if you can understand how can we write this one expansion you can easily solve whatever type of questions you have right and second thing is that that how can we expand and c0 you know i have told you in my previous video that uh, n c0 is equal to or either you have to write it n c0 what will be the answer of this one is n factorial over difference of factorial n minus 0 factorial and whatever the factorial is uh, number is here 0 factorial right so keep it in mind n factorial over n factorial 0 factorial is equal to 1 so n factorial n factorial will cancel each other so the value of nc0 is always 1 right and similarly if you have to find the value of ncn what will be its value we will check first of all we will write n factorial over difference factorial n minus n right and then factorial of this thing which is n factorial now you can check we have n factorial over this will give you 0 factorial and n factorial as it is now again we will use the definition of 0 factorial is 1 so i will write its value 1 and n factorial n factorial n factorial will cancel each other again the value of nc n will be 1 so keep it in mind when we have nc 0 the answer will be 1 you have to remember this and when we have same numbers nc n or 3 c 3 or 4 c 4 or 5 c 5 its answer will also be 1 how it is one i have explained in this video you can easily check right so it will be very easy if you will rem uh, remember these things so you will memorize these things that nc0 answer is one ncn answer is also one and how it is one the proof is in front of you right so by using all these expressions these things you can easily expand in the next step i have done just i have put the value of so nc0 is 1 i have told you 1 power and whatever the power of 1 is 
the answer will be 1 and you know the x power 0 its answer is also 1 so all these things will give you answer 1 first term and the second term you will find out n multiply n minus 1 divided by 1 factorial which is written here and 1 power n minus 1 again it is 1 and x power 1 now you can see from first term the power starting from 0 and it's going on increase x power 1 x power 2 x power 3 x power 4 going to x power n minus 1 and it will ends in x power n which is our whole power right so first term power is starting from n and going towards look 0 and a second term power it is starting from 0 and it is going towards x power n which is our main power or main number so this is very interesting if you can get it then binomial expansion whatever number they will give you you can easily solve these things for example i have solved here 1 plus x whole power n same the first part uh, will be 1 second will be power is 9 and x power will become 1 it's going to increase next is 9 in 9 factorial meaning and into n minus 1 right divided by 1 multiplied by 2 because it is 2 factorial here and x power 2 now you can see the power of x second term power is going to increase here x power 0 1 x power 1 x power 2 x power 3 and so on so this binomial formula or binomial expansion is very interesting if you get it then any type of questions will be easy for you and uh, in uh, a level first year they ask you about uh, expand this thing and uh, tell us what will be the coefficient of x power 4 what will be the coefficient of x power 3 right you can easily solve this exercise you can check here i have told about the expansion you can use by using this uh, rule you can expand it and uh, if we have minus sign just you will write minus sign in um, your uh, parenthesis and you can solve it right and you hope you have to find the value of uh, 6c to 6c 7c7 i have told you that uh, for example if we have to find the value of c if they will ask us you have to find the value of uh, 5 0 so it means it is 5 c 0 right and how can we find its value 5 minus 0 factorial divided by i have told you no sorry 5 factorial first factorial and difference factorial 5 minus 0 factorial and this factorial which is written in the below of this uh, uh, column so 5 factorial it will give you 5 factorial 0 factorial answer is always 1 so 5 factorial 5 factorial we cancel each other answer will be 1 here and if they are asking you find 6c2 so it means you will write here 6c2 this is the other way of writing it first of all we will write first term which is 6 factorial and in the below the line denominator we will write difference of this and then multiply by what is the second place number is take its factorial so 6 factorial over it will give you 4 factorial and 2 factorial 6 factorial can be written as 6 5 and 4 4 3 2 so i will uh, close it by writing it 4 factorial i can do it right so what will we will get 2 factorial mean 2 multiply by 1 you know, 4 factorial 4 factorial they will cancel each other 6 times 5 over <clears throat> 2 so cut them and we have answer 15 so in this way we, we can easily find the values 
c5 c0 6 c2 whatever they have given to you just write it and apply the same rule i have told you earlier 6 factor to 6 c2 meaning first of all take the factorial of first what number what is here 6 factorial and it is divided by or in denominator will we write the difference of this these numbers which is 6 minus 2 and this is multiplying by the factorial of this which is 2 factorial hopefully you can get it and uh, in the next uh, question you can see they are asking you find the coefficient of x4 in the expansion of this first of all you have to expand this one by using the same rule and uh, at the end you will check what is the coefficient of x4 and you can give the answer so this exercise will be very easy for you if you can understand thank you